Hi, third grade. Today we're going to begin the last week of unit nine. Repeat after me. W H whistle w. C H chin ch. S H ship sh. T H thumb th. C K sock k. T C H catch ch. Y cry I. Y baby E. A L L ball all. A M ham am. A N fan an. Nice work. Now let's watch to learn our new concept for today. Hi friends, I'm Mrs. Keo and I'm a literacy specialist with Wilson Language Training. Today, we're gonna to work on unit nine, week three, day one, introduce new concepts. All right, let's start off with this. Whoops, here we go. I want you to be my echo. A wash ah, a squash ah. Now, what letter changed the sound of the A in these words? That's right. It was a W or that W sound. Like in squash, it was the W sound. So now um, that same letter W in the W sound also changes the sounds of these. Also changes the sounds of A R and O R. Changes those sounds too. So now let me show you some new cards. So take a look at this one. This is A R warm or. <laughs> let me do that again. A R warm or. Warm. Say warm. Warm or. A R warm or. Good job. Here's your next one. O R warm er. And what sound is that O-R making here? Er. And it's the W in worm that's changing that, just like the W in warm. Warm is changing that sound too. So let me build some words for you. Okay, just take a look at this. Got that. All right, let's go ahead and read this. Warn. Or do you hear that sound warn? So that might be I'm going to warn you about something new coming up. Or we're going to warn you about maybe some danger ahead. So what is this word? Warn. And what sound is this AR making? Warn. All right, we'll try this word. Remember how that changed? Warmer. All right. Let's tap this one out just for fun. Here we go. What work? Work. I have to go to work right now. Or you have work to do here with me. What sound is that OR making? Er, work. Read this word. Warn. Read this word. Work. Very good. So that AR is saying or, or and this work, this um, OR is saying er. You got that? All right, let me make some more words. Here we go, don't blurt them out. Make sure that you are just watching. It's that what sound, that W that's changing paste. Ready, let's tap this one. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Like a swarm of bees might be there, swarm. What sounds that A are making? Or swarm. Good job. Okay, let's try this next one. Okay, let's try this one. Make sure you build the right word. Picked up the wrong stack. Here we go. Try this one. Oh, that happened to me again. There we go. Make sure. Here we go. Ready? Tappers up. Let's think about that. O R sound. Here we go. What earth? Worth. You might ask what something is worth if you're in a store or you have something of value. 
that you want to sell, you're going to find out what it is worth. What is this OR sound? Er. Good work. All right, now we're going to go through and we are going to drill these like you're going to drill them on our drill sounds. So remember, with foundations, we teach you the sounds that the letters make, but also when and why they make those sounds. So we're adding these two sounds to our drill sounds because they change with that W or the W sound. So here's what it's going to sound like. A-R, car, R. A-R, beggar, er. A-R, warm, or. There you go. Now, let's do this one. Here we go. O-R, horn, or. O-R, Dr. Er. O-R, worm, er. <laughs> there you go. You've got it. Good job with that. So now, let's talk about a new suffix. Here's our new suffix. So let me show you what that looks like in a word. Are you ready? Let's read the space word first. Back. Now let's read the whole word. Backward. Backward. So if you're going to walk backward, you're going to walk backward this way. <laughs> and you're going to go that way. So the, the suffix word right here. But again, that W is changing the sound of that AR there. So it's going to be a little bit different. So let me make another one. So when I was going backward, that was the direction I was going in. Are you ready? Let's read this word. West, westward. Which direction are you going there? To the west. You're going to go westward. Let's try another word. You ready? Here we go. On, onward. So, AR is affected by the W, but it's also still controlled by the R. So when we mark these words in a control, an R controlled syllable or use word as a suffix, this is how we're going to mark those words up. So let me build one. Here we go. So do you remember that word? Warren. So here's how I'm going to mark it up. So I'm going to underline that base word. And what syllable type is it? It's an R controlled syllable. And I will circle that AR. Warren, because it's still an R controlled syllable, it's just being affected by that, that what sound. Now look at this word. Let's go back to this word. What is the base word? West. What is the suffix? Word. West, westward. So that's how I'm going to mark the, up those words. <laughs> All right. Now, you have some items to enter into your notebook. Your teacher will decide when you're going to do that, and she will guide you to what you're going to add. Good work today learning some new things. I'll see you soon. All right, in your student notebook with the castle on the cover, the first thing I want you to do is turn to page 11. And we're going to, you already have most of these colored, but today we learned the new keywords for O-R, warm, or, I'm sorry, it's A-R, warm, or, and we also learned O-R, worm, sounds like er. So let's say that again. A R warm or. Good. O R worm er. Good job. On page 11, color those two pictures, please. And the next thing you're going to do in that student notebook is turn to page 31, where you have some consonant suffixes. And today we introduce the suffix ward, W A R D. 
westward. If you're moving westward, you are moving to the west. So go ahead on page 31 and write down westward for your suffix w-a-r-d word. The last thing we did today was took out our slate markers and erasers and practiced forming uppercase D and W. If you're at home, just grab a blank piece of paper and here is uppercase D. D is a skyline down letter. It starts on the skyline. Point to the skyline. Go on the skyline, then curve down to the grass line. Make a loop on the grass line. Round back up to the skyline and connect it on the skyline. Okay, and you can rewatch that as many times as you need to get that uppercase D going well. And finally, here is uppercase W. W is a skyline down letter. It starts on the skyline. Point to the skyline. Go on the skyline, then curve down to the grass line. Go up to the plane line, slide down to the grass line, and curve up to the skyline. All right, third grade, thanks for practicing with me today. I'll see you next time.